for instance, I'll concede that almost anything bad that is said about the Democrats now is probably true. Biden appears unfit for office. Whether he's actually senile, I don't know. But he simply can't communicate the way the president needs to. I mean, you watch these speeches and interviews and press conferences insofar as they even take place. Every sentence is a death-defying feat. It's like watching your mom do parkour. You're just waiting for the worst thing that has ever happened every fucking second. And he is totally unfit to run again in 2024. I don't know if I'd say he's totally unfit to run, but yeah, the we're getting they're getting pretty up there in age. <laughs> I'm thinking of buying my Austria friends a game board called Secret Hitler. That's an apology for puking all over their floors and walls in their home. Wish me luck. He'll be like what, eighty two? Trump will be seventy maybe seventy nine. These guys are fucking old. Obama. Yeah, Bernie's pretty old too. He's up there. He'll be like 82, 83. Who's a better candidate? I don't know. I don't follow that shit. I'll, I'll wait until we're closer. I never understood why. Well, aside from like drama and like viewership, I don't know why people would cover or care about trying to call presidential candidates like years before it's running time. Like, I don't know what the point is. Would Kamala do okay? Um. Uh... I don't think Kamala Harris is it. <sighs> if for no other reason, because she's a black woman. I don't think America could handle that. <laughs> but um, uh, there's other problems, too, that make her not the best Democratic candidate and she's super unlikable to Republicans, so. Okay, what is this email? Vouch made me a turf. Well, not just Vosh, the debate you did on the panel with none other people that, about trans women and female sports did, too. I'll give a quick rundown of myself. Oh, it's always, why do turfs all come from the UK and they're all women. Do you ever notice that? I feel like the UK like produces like 95% of the world's turfs. What's going on over there? <laughs> What's going on over there? You got a turf factory. Quick rundown of myself, my position. So I'm an X year old woman of X heritage from the UK. I'm from a really leftist family and I've always been a leftist, still am, but I feel like I can align with the left like I used to because of this issue. I am what people call a turf because of a few reasons. Starting off with the shit Vosh spouts and just the pure misogynistic way he speaks about so-called turfs. As an ex-subscriber of his, it was a tipping point for me when I saw him saying Xeno's, Xeno genders are valid. Him commenting on a famous gender critical woman's looks saying she needs to start HRT. Wait, did he really say that? Or if a trans woman looked like this in public, she'd be shamed. <laughs> what? I should have asked for legs. On top of this, the real tipping point for was the debate you did on women's sports. I swear to God, I had a lump in my throat and tears in my eyes seeing a bunch of male people saying that if no one cares, if women can't get to the top, and pe that periods don't cause much pain, that the turfs are correct, they do want to abolish sex-based sports league, etc. It hurts so much to hear that. Maybe realize how at least some of these people saying there are zero biological differences think. Also, thank you for pushing back on these points. Oh my God. One of the worst, one of the worst panel. This was the closest I've ever been in my life to genuinely being transphobic. But it was, I think I was on a panel with like, I want to say, was it like six men and three trans women? And every single person on the panel, I think it was that synth guy brought up that idea where he was like, periods aren't even a big deal. It's like two teaspoons of blood. And everybody was like, yeah, 100%. Yeah, it's nothing. Who cares? <laughs> I was like... Oh no, come on. Oh man, not, this ain't it, chief, chieftains. This ain't it. Not synth, by the way, it was some cis person. Was it? I thought it was that synth guy. Not um, the S-Y-N-T-H-E, the guy that I had the one debate with. Or S-I-N-T-H-E, I thought it was him, but it might not be, maybe it was somebody different. It was a synth guy, oh it was, okay, yeah. Had none of them ever lived with a female? I mean, it's Twitch. What do you think? Here's the period quote. 
Yeah. Gee, please give me a fucking second here. We could do this for, we could, yeah, it's not just based on testosterone levels. You let me finish my sentence, you understand what I'm saying. So if we do it based on testosterone levels over a current period, like a long enough period of time, like maybe go three years or something. And if you take a look at the average trans woman after two years of, um, two years of hormones, it is the case that almost every single biological advantage that Dusty's talking about is completely gone. That's not true, unfortunately. I have no idea what data you're using to get the idea, Destiny. Um, that there's this like this massive biological advantage in like trans women after two years of hormones. Um, because if you look at like you mentioned periods earlier, I don't know why you think it's the case that like like a like a like a like a cis woman athlete or something would have to not work out when she's on her period. Uh, there's no re medical reason whatsoever for this. I think you just made that up. <laughs> I just fucking hate my life. So Good. I don't know what to say. I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. I don't. I'm not even sure what to say. I should have said more, I guess. I think oh, I that was the most male fucking obvious. thing you've ever said in your life. Bro, people miss fucking weigh-ins in their fucking Ooh, MMA that's classes that's because they have a fucking period. And or it call it to work because their cramps are so bad that day. Like, my ex-wife had really bad cramps where sometimes she would have to call out because it was so bad for a day. Like, what, does he say, eventually he says the line. Oh, gee, please give me a fucking second here. We could testosterone and after two, it's completely gone. And like, you think it's the case that like, like the water retention of your body will dramatically change. Women that are close to their period, sometimes their boobs get a little bit bigger. They retain water a little bit more. Like there's so many different things. Like a, like a, like a medical reason whatsoever for this. I think you just made that up. You've ever said to your tail, like, bro, talk to a woman at training. Oh my god, I'm, I don't things. disagree. Why it's it's something something schooling. So Dude, you can work Holy out when shit. you're, you can work out when you're on your period. What are you talking about? Working out when you're pushing yourself, fuck ton of blood in your hormones. Women who are training don't even like when you are training. Oh, I shouldn't. Did I say fuck ton of blood? I shouldn't said fuck ton of blood because it's just the blood isn't the big deal. It's not that hard. You just pee some blood out. I know you're not peeing it out, but the women who are training don't even have periods. You're making good points. Just calm down. Women who are training don't have periods. That's not true unless you're like pushed to the very edge of existence. If your periods are disappearing, usually that's a sign of other issues. Women that are are physically training. Very, sure, you can very take hard you can take different hormone things skin. to not have periods. That's possible. You can't. You, there are hormone things you can take to erase your periods, but a lot of women aren't comfortable with that for some reason. Well, periods. No, sure. it's not. It's over it's like okay. females are complete at the top, like physical of their body actually working. Because because really body, a woman's body working, life, then, will have working class, women. Andy. I mean, it, when they're working out, when they're training for these things, a lot of times there are situations where they, they miss periods or their menstrual cycle's off or it goes off for quite a while. So, yes. It, your menstrual Sometimes you don't have a period if you're on birth control. Um, if you're on the pill, you should always have a period, assuming you're taking your however many blank pills there are. Is it three or seven? I don't remember. Um, there are some forms of birth control, like certain injections or implants that will get rid of your period completely. But for some reason, women love to suffer on their periods and they they won't do those types of birth control. There's an old wives tale that there's like an old myth that um, that women need to have periods to stay healthy. So a lot of women don't like doing birth control that eliminates their period. But I'm, I don't think there's any medical evidence to support that. But yeah, there are certain types of birth control that will get rid of your period completely, but a lot of women just aren't comfortable for it. It is possible. It's if very your menstrual possible. cycle is off, it's because you're undergoing extreme stress. Something is messing with your hormones, or you're taking some sort of like hormone blocking, period blocking, like or your body fat is very, 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 very low, which isn't going to describe like 99 percent of athletes. Or control or something. It shouldn't happen normally under like usually. Yeah. Do you think training just... for intense athletic events would not can be considered stress on your body? Not, not enough to eliminate your periods. Your period shouldn't be gone completely just because you're training, even if you're training a lot, unless you're like a bodybuilder or you're like under extreme, extreme stress. Yes, it, it could be, but it's not going to be the case that every single. Talk to women athletes. You guys no, know women yeah, athletes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go talk to no, women bodybuilders. Women bodybuilders, women bodybuilders not go talk to women bodybuilders. Are you talking about like the top one percent that are like at fucking eight percent body fat, like on the verge of death? Like, uh, yeah. Okay, never mind. We're not watching this. I'm not doing this again. Don't care. Um. Keep hating your life, then, working class Andy. If I recall a lot of- His idea was it to set up a panel about periods in sports full of people who don't play any sports nor have any periods. If I recall, a lot of female Olympic athletes and field athletes, especially long distance runners and decathletes lose their periods. It might be, um... Okay, hold on. Okay, it might be the case that at the ultra, ultra elite level, those start to disappear, but generally, um, at the high school or college level, you're, you're, like, every woman is not, not having a period anymore. Um... What did this guy say? Destiny. Now, you sound like somebody who doesn't live with a woman. These long-term treatments have tons of downsides like depression and low sex drive from those implants. I lived with one. Um, the biggest mistake that women make when it comes to birth control is sometimes they'll try one, and if it doesn't work, they either stick with it and be miserable, or they just quit it and they say all of it doesn't work. 
there are a lot of different types of birth controls and all of them have different types of effects on women's bodies. So for instance, if you are a woman and you get like an IUD and it's not working for you, um, sometimes you can try a copper IUD that has no hormones instead of the hormonal ones. Um, some women do, there's like an injection you can get, there's an implant you can get, even among birth control pills, there's tons of different types. You've got the low hormone ones, the normal ones, like some types of birth control can cause negative side effects. But if you're getting really negative side effects from a birth control and you're a woman, you should switch and try something different. Don't just accept the horrible negative side effects or give up on it completely. Um, try, try a different type. Or don't, or don't, that's how you've got to work on them or whatever, but. <clears throat> nah, Destiny, the implants and shots have bad effects on many women. Every birth control can have bad effects on many women, but some of them have no effects on some women. Um, like a few, I can never generalize because so many different women have so many different interactions, but like I've talked to more than one woman who said that like the copper IUD is like the godsend birth control, that it sucks for a few days after you get it put in, you're a little sore and the initial implantation is kind of shitty. But after that, it's like no negative side effects. You never have to think about it for, is it three years or five years? And, um, yeah, just, just, and it's like perfect birth control. It's got like a 99% success rate. It just depends on the, um, uh, type of birth control you, you get. But I've also talked to another person that said, um, I've talked to at least one person I think that tried the copper and the hormone one, and they said both were horrible. Their body, like, I don't know if they said they rejected the copper one, but they had to get it taken out because of complications after like a couple of weeks, so. Copper IUD exactly doesn't give out hormones. You're comparing that one that doesn't give hormones with all the rest, it's not the same. Sure, but even things that do give hormones don't necessarily have bad side effects. It just depends on how your body interacts with it and the type you take. Some women, for instance, will take certain birth controls and it'll, it can crash or kill their libido. It can cause weight gain. Um, it can make them moody or irritated um, or it can give them irregular and spotty and annoying periods where you're just like bleeding for the entire month a little bit. You're spotty all the time. But for some women, especially some women that have really negative experiences with periods, like really heavy periods or really heavy cramping, some birth controls can help to regulate their period hardcore. If they have a lot of irregular periods, it can bring it like into that 28 day or 27 day window, it can like super regulate it. Um, it can make the cramping a lot less worse. Like it just depends. I, I, like every woman is different and you should experiment with different types of birth control. <clears throat> I think most women are worried about long-term side effects if there is, uh, maybe some of it is studied. Um, I've only ever seen studies relating to like the ones that make you skip your period entirely. And it seems like women can go without periods and there's no negative side effects, but uh, there might be other research on that too, I don't know. No, shots are every three months. IUDs are the ones that last for years. The shot ones last six, okay. Cause I, now I've been with one woman where you could feel the, in her arm, there was a thing. So that might've been an implant. You can get, I'm pretty sure you can get an implant in the arm. I know, because anytime my anytime a girl tells me she has the implant, I'll try to feel for it before <laughs> before we do anything. I ain't getting baited by that shit. I need to feel that shit. If you tell me you got an implant, but it, there's there's one that goes in the arm somewhere. I'm almost positive where you can feel it if they have the birth control implant. <clears throat> my ex had that. I hated feeling. It feels weird, but um, yeah. I don't know if this is true, but I've heard a woman say IUDs can make sex uncomfortable. Is that true? Um. It shouldn't. If it is, then something's probably wrong. But the um, if you have, there was one woman, I swear to God this was the case, but now when I look back on it, maybe it's not true, where I felt like I could feel her IUD or like strings coming out of it at the very bottom. Um, but now that I look, but I've only ever had that happen with one woman. So now I wonder if I was just feeling some other different thing in her vagina. The inside of every vagina is like a mysterious cavern that has like different shit for like every person, has like different sections and quadrants and like bumps and ridges and things. There's like always like weird shit going on. So it might have just been like the feel of that person. And then I got paranoid that some IUD was going to like pop out and like bite my dick off or something. I don't know. They're probably not going to happen, but. <clears throat> if you don't mute your game, I'll come onto your server that you're on your cows. I like listening to cows. Um. Oh, hold on. Pretty dumb heme tweet.
If America is racist, why do people of all ethnic and racial backgrounds? Well, no, 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 pretty simple. America won't wipe out your town with bombs. Keep hating your life America. then, working class Andy. Wait, how many bombs have we dropped on Mexico over the last few decades? Am I missing some huge event? What? <laughs> How do you avoid getting STDs when you have multiple sex partners or just about management? I don't know, just get tested often. Hopefully your partners are getting tested often. I don't need lock on for these shitty dog shit games. Chat's wrong, lock on suck balls. What is it? What is this Dark Souls knockoff? Playing just chatting, nice. Oh, Demon Souls. <laughs> Actual Dark Souls knockoff. It even has souls in the name. Cringe. 